Hello guys, welcome back to my GED study. Today I would like to make another example for practice test. So let's do practice test. Number one. What is the topic of this diagram? It's is it the components of a dry cell battery? Or B how a dry cell battery power a machine or C option E and B five seconds to answer and the answer is letter E the components of a dry cell because this here is all dry cell components carbon positive electrode cathode electrolyte paste separator carbon and mang manganese dioxide mixture zinc negative electrode anode all of these are the components of dry battery cell so let's go number two number two question Based on the table here above, which solvent had the higher rate of diffusion? Is it A. Acetone, B. Acetic Acid, or C. Formic Acid? Five seconds to answer. And the answer is letter C. Formic acid. Number three question. Number three, still based on the table above here. What is the average time required for the solvents to reach equilibrium? So how to answer it is just add all the minutes here 26 minutes plus 19 minutes plus 16 minutes and divided it to 3 so you have to write your answer here and the answer is 20.3 Number 4 The number 4 question is not really a question it just telling you that write down the answers the cause of the cancers in wax next to the type of cancers so you put your answer here this is the type of cancer here lung cancer liver cancer cervical cancer me mesothelioma and you put the answer here what is the cause of a lung cancer so lung cancer cause is long-term tobacco smoke so it's over here in the bottom so you'll find the long term tobacco smoke and in liver cancer is Hepatitis B. That's the cause of liver cancer. And the cervical cancer is human papilloma virus. And the last one is the last one is mesothelioma so that's the answer there
and get it all okay So that's the number four. So let's go to number five. This is the easy one. Number five question. What is the largest organ of the body? A, bones, B, lungs, and C, skin. This is very easy, guys. Five seconds. And the answer is letter C, skin. Number six, this is the last question because I don't have a lot of time to make some more. I'll make some more next time. So the number six is the last question. It's all about science. What process that green plants and some other organisms use sunlight to synthesize foods from carbon dioxide and water? Is it E, photoperiodism? B photosynthesis or C evaporation. I'll give you five seconds to answer. And the answer is letter B. Letter B. Okay, guys, that's all for today. I will make some more of this practice test next time. So, I hope you have fun uh, trying these questions. And let me know what else do you want to know that you're having trouble studying and I can help you next time. Will you have a great day and we'll see you next time. And oh, don't forget to subscribe, share this to others, and like and comments below. See you next time. Bye.